this video I'll be changing the stabilizer bushings on an E65 BMW that is the part number and this is the procedure to change these stabilizers right the stabilizer mounting is over here and what you need to do is get this uh, protective plastic covering off right, there's two screws here there we go and the same on the other side these you can unscrew but personally i find that uh, it's not easy to unscrew them it just strips i just take a side cutter and or a screwdriver and just kind of open it up like that and now you can pull them out there we go okay don't worry about the oil this car's uh, got an oil leak now quite often these heads uh, break or you, this gets seized in there and you can't open it so what you can do is you can uh, get replacement ones this is the part number there it is these push pins or you can just use generic ones now in my case this one is seized in there and I know you could probably push a screwdriver in there you do run the risk of cracking this plastic so what I recommend you just put a hacksaw blade in and you kind of just cut it out because it is just plastic right you can see these clips you just unclip it from there you could remove this uh, uh, little shield here this entire thing and that whole thing comes out right I released that nut and now the entire protective undercarriage the plastic one can come off and there it is and you can see this car has a massive oil leak which we'll have to attend to but that's not the purpose of this video right this is a 16 16 16 and this is a t30 and a t30 Okay, so there you can see the fault on the stabilizer mounting. There you can see it's got a tear. Somebody's trying to patch it with silicone. Okay, so what you gotta do is you must loosen all four nuts first. Then remove the one, partially tighten that side, remove the other, and then tighten, tighten. Right, this is a size 13 nut. And there's one on the top as well. It's a little bit tricky to get into, so I'm just using this type of adapter. Now you might find this thing is pretty tight so what i do is i'm just wedging a screwdriver here just to help it uh, come out just slide this out don't damage this bearing here just slide this out gently there you go it is pretty tight there, there is the old there is the old mounting and here is the new one pretty tight fitting and you can gently tap it but just be careful the threads of the screw here. so I'm supporting it here while I tap it right, now you can just use the nuts to tighten it by with the pressure of the nut forcing the mounting on on the one side you might find this is attached to the housing you can just there's a little uh, nut over there you can remove it and then you can see I have my uh, socket right there on the top because the opposite screw of this is on that side you can remove this if you want to all right so I've removed the top screw I've removed the bottom screw and this can come loose as I said you can remove this but these are flexible hoses so I'm not too worried about removing this it doesn't have to do it and I'm just going to release this now, as I said, make sure the other side is loose as well. And there it comes. There you can see it's totally stuffed. 
just clean it. Uh, this person's put some silicone here. I'm just removing that. Right, put it, wrap it around the bearing, and then you put the cover on. Now this one has got too much oil around you, so you should clean it thoroughly with thinners. And you just want to put the nuts back on, just support it. Right, and fasten the other two now, the other side. Right, so I fastened all the nuts. If you want to, you could put a bit of uh, a Loctite or glue on it, just the blue one, not the red, because uh, there is a bit of vibration here, but it's not mandatory, uh, that's up to you. Right, now it's time to put the aluminium protective plate back on. Right, my advice for putting this back is first slot it into the uh, cover here, don't worry about that. Um, so you're slotting it into the, under the bumper there, there's this little, it fits underneath there, and you'll see there's some clips. Then I advise you to put one of these press uh, pins in. Now, so just get one in and just press it a little bit, you don't have to get it all the way in, just to, re just to hold it. Okay, and then what you got is you've got one, two, three, four screws which need to be aligned. So my advice is um, just make sure that all the alignments are correct. And if you want to put three of them now, you can. Uh, as I said, there's a brand new one. These often do break. And don't push them all the way in now. You're just, you're just really holding it in place. Now what you want to do is you want to do these ones on the sides here. Um, you want to make sure they're lined up before you push in the press pins. That's it. Right, now the next thing is this. You just slide this, you've got to clip this in. Uh, there's little clips here. And there, right at the end, there's a size 8 screw. There we go. There's one on each side. Alright, so it's one of these uh, size 8s on each side. Now at this point, you can tap in these press pins. One, two. Now the way you push it in is you make sure the washer part is flat and then you tap in the head. If you want to, you can screw it in. I just tap them in. Then right along the seam here, you've got to seat this little flap. You can see it clips in there, there and all the way along. Now, just having a look at these, this one isn't too bad, it actually uh, feels fine. Uh, but this one, as you can see, this was the reason for the repair. Totally stuffed, look at that. And you might be wondering, you know, does it make much difference if you don't change this? I mean, do you really need to change this? And I'm going to tell you the difference is significant. I've now changed it, I've driven around with the car, and there is much less vibration. When this was fitted on the stabilizer bar, it was like I was driving and it's like the mag was a bit bent. The, the steering had a bit of a shudder. Not all the time, but especially when driving on roads that were uneven. And uh, now it is quite a lot better. All right, so that's the end of the repair and thanks for watching. Cheers.